Hello everyone, it's Crochet by Bev. Welcome to my channel. This video, I am going to share you how I make my Christmas bubble. You will be needing any Christmas balls. You can use your old Christmas ball or the DIY ball. I have this uh, 8 cm ball and this smaller one. This is 4 cm ball. And you will be needing a yarn. So I'm using here two colors you can also use uh, many colors as you want and 3.5 millimeter hook scissor and a yarn needle what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two of these so i have already done one this is we're going to cover our balls like this okay so i'm going to show you how to make this so grab your first yarn you can use many colors as you want for me i am using only two here just i'm going to alternate them okay just grab your first color of your yarn wrap into your fingers and make a magic circle and then we're going to start chaining three so chain three this is the first double crochet and then start making double crochets inside into your ring so we're going to make 12 double crochet so the first three chains is count as our first double crochet Okay, just continue making your double crochet inside into your magic ring. Alright, when you are done your 12 double crochets, just pull this a bit to tighten the stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch here into the first stitch double crochet so we're going to do like that and then for me i want to chain one to make it very secure and then cut your yarn pull it tight and make sure you have uh, 12 stitches then grab your next yarn so we will be inserting in any of the stitches just insert your yarn here and just tie it up here to make it secure and then we will be inserting again our hook in the same stitch and start chaining three and this is first double crochet and then double crochet into the same stitch and then two double crochets into the next stitch so two double crochets in each stitch so a total of 24 stitches this round two okay just continue two double crochets in each stitch when you are completed all your two double crochets in each stitch we are going to slip stitch into the stitch of the first double crochet and then for me i want to chain one to very secure my stitch and cut your yarn pull it a bit tight for round three insert again your next yarn into the third loop of the stitches i mean third loop is this is the normal stitch these two so the third loop is here at the back of the back loop this is stitch we're going to insert our yarn there insert again your hook into the same stitch now we're gonna make single crochet so here first chain one 
and this row we will be working into the third loop there insert your hook there make a single crochet okay so this round is single crochet into the third loop single crochet okay so this is the normal stitch into the back of that this is the third loop so we will be working here single crochet then when you reach your last stitch going to slip stitch here into the first single crochet then pull and tight your stitch and now for our round four insert again your next color or next yarn into any of the stitches so now into the normal stitch insert again your hook then begin chaining three so this is first double crochet then another double crochet into the same stitch then we're going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch two double crochet then skip one stitch into the next stitch double crochet okay so this is what we're gonna do in this round the skip one then double crochet two double crochets into the next stitch skip one two double crochet Then when you are done your two double crochet, you're going to slip stitch here into the first uh, through double crochet, then fasten up your yarn and we're going to make again the next row using your other color. So insert your yarn in any of the stitches. So here we're gonna make a single crochet. So first chain one here and then into the next stitch single crochet. And then between of these uh, two double crochets here, we're going to insert our hook here, down, and make a single crochet spike or long single crochet. Do like that. And then here into the stitch, make the single crochet. And here the between again of these two double crochet here, two double crochet, go down here. And this is stitch. Pull a bit up your loop as the uh, same height with your single crochet and make a single crochet. So this is a single crochet spike or long single crochet and between of this again you insert your hook down there pull a bit up and then make the single crochet then continue single crochet into the stitches like that and here you may need to 
make your single crochet not very tight and here into your last stitch we're going to slip stitch here into the normal single crochet then fasten up your yarn starting our yarn into the third loop again in any of the stitches into the third loop which is here at the back of the stitch Okay, insert again your hook chain two then into the next stitch into the third loop make a half double crochet so half double crochet for this round into the third loop Then when you are done your half double crochet, just slip stitch here and then fasten up your yarn. Then we're going to insert again our next yarn into the third loop of any of the stitches. Just insert your yarn into the third loop. And again, insert your yarn and make two chains. This is half double crochet. So into the third loop, half double crochet. Okay, again third loop half double crochets into all the stitches and then again here into your last stitch just a slip stitch and fasten up your yarn And here you may want to stop in this round if you are using the smaller ball because this is already enough for this ball. And if you are making a bigger ball just like mine, we're going to continue inserting your other yarn in any of the stitches. So now here into the normal loop or a stitch and then we're going to insert our hook again here and chain one to start and now this is uh, only for the extension so just make single crochet so if you are making a bigger ball just make single crochet into your next round just to make the extension or to make it fit into our ball so just make single crochet into the last stitch just uh, slip stitch and fasten up again and you can try this into your ball if already fit or covered the half of your ball just like this so this is the half you can try it like that so for me i'm gonna make one more round of single crochet
okay you can try if already fit into your balls then you may want to stop there for me i'm going to make another round of single crochet just insert again into the normal stitch and then again chain one and then into the stitches single crochet here for my eight centimeter ball i end up until round nine so this is my round nine so after this we're going to attach them together into our ball and then again just uh, fasten up your yarn just uh, slip stitch here into the first stitch then to make sure i'm going to chain one and fasten up my yarn and now this is my finished round so only nine round for my eight centimeter ball okay i'm going to show you i'm going to fit like this and what we're gonna do is we're going to touch this together so i'm going to use my blue so i end up here white so i'm using blue just take a long strand of your yarn then using now our yarn either we're going to sew them into the ball this you can uh, put them inside and you may want to put them down so it's not visible into the top so what we're going to do is take two loops there and two loops here like that and make this secure just tie them together Okay, so this you may want to hide inside just put inside okay and then insert again here so this is how we going to attach into the balls so there's two loops and two loops i tried one loop and one loop it's not very Good. so i'm going i am doing like this into the both loops of the stitches okay just in and out in and out like this and then when you are done sewing all the sides of the stitches just make sure it's a bit open here and then we're going to secure now this just fasten up tie it properly and hide your yarn We just uh, insert inside and then just cut your yarn and wow well, we are done with our Christmas purple and you may want to add some uh, ribbon to finish up your Christmas bubble so this is how it look like our Christmas bubble hope you like it and you can share a photo of this uh, Christmas bubble if you made this into my Instagram account at crochet by Beb and yeah thank you so much for joining me making this Christmas bubble hope you like it 
and happy crochet everyone happy holidays bye